On the popular video site YouTube, there exist countless videos called Let's Play, where socially maladjusted individuals talk over footage of themselves playing video games for money. Somewhere in Ohio, one such Let's Player and his wife decided to continue the practice with varying degrees of success on a licensed game for a TV series way outside the typical demographic for this type of video. These are their stories. Writing in your diary? It's not a diary. It's a journal. What kind of journal? None of your business. Did you call so every time I feel like killing myself, yeah, I write shitty Johnson. poetry and put so it on my space. Any roosters. She sure? Sounds sure. I'm Matter on volume fact, seven the state fair of this on the month. Supposedly brought the bird in. Objection. So we lied to the little woman, huh? Our victim had a questionable character. Imagine you're a husband, and not the most responsible husband in the world. <coughs> quite an imaginary. <coughs> Sorry. Your wife is a live that just rooster time. and tells you to take it by public transportation all the way to New Jersey to get rid of it. What do you do? You sure as hell don't take it all the way to Jersey. I dump it in the closest spot I can find and go catch a ball game. Right. And there's only so many places you can take a live chicken if you're too squeamish to kill it. Huang's live poultry. One five. Yeah, two, nine, I was. Ju I was just thinking. Just say, take it Chinese. Joint. T take it to a, a butcher or a meat shop or a, right. a, a Chinese like place. Sure, some kind of barbecue. And oh yeah, Animals certainly. That'd be delicious. <laughs> Fresh ass chicken. I mean, me. yeah. Oh, we serve everyone here. We've got kosher slaughter for our Jewish clients. Halal for the Muslims. And if I'm in the mood for pork chops, for that we've got a Dominican butcher. He covers all bases. Mind if we ask you a few questions? This guy okay. is a smart businessman. Dinner rush is gonna start any minute. All right, so let's ask this guy some stuff. I uh, want to believe this guy. ID first. Actually, Who the hell is it? All right, so I do this, dude. This guy ever come in here? No. Look again, Mr. Huang. I thought you said you serve everyone here. How can you be so sure you haven't served him? Yeah, what I mean is everybody but wasps. His types usually like that meat wrapped in plastic. What? Wasps? What? Huh? That's gotta be something. What are you hiding? Jeez. You slaughter your animals here on the premises? Sure, naturally. Look, my client wants to come in, select an animal, and take home the meat the same afternoon. Does your client generally want to watch the slaughter? No, that's against policy. Our abattoir's a separate space and back. Past the plastic curtain. Correct. Is it important to look in the abattoir? Yes. Of course it is. It's like, nah, I think I'll stay out here and not get any information that's in there. If Wayne doesn't want to see it, yeah, hmm, might, might as well be. My place for a knife fight. <laughs> Pretty sure it's the <laughs> I'd like to get a sample of avian blood. That sounds relevant. Boom. Boom! Correct! Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Inspect or yeah, business. Well, first license. I want to see how legit it is because uh, you never know. Sometimes they actually some places. give you a license to run a slaughterhouse in the city. It's not against code. Of course I've got a license. I've been running this establishment for over twenty-five years, buddy. Check with the city if you don't believe me. My partner doesn't know much about slaughter except the human-on-human -human variety, which probably took place here. You found a red herring. Oh. I chop up red herring. <laughs> Employees. All right, uh, yeah, let's go with the employees. How many employees you got? Six. Three in front, three in back. You hey! You look their backgrounds before you hire them? They're all citizens, <laughs> oh detectives. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Listen, I serve immigrant customers, so I hire immigrant workers. Good workers. Just because a guy wasn't born in this country, does that make him a murder suspect? That sounds like racial profiling Well, now he's getting me. defensive. Is this really a red herring? Anything odd about no. what he's saying? Uh, yeah. No. He starts getting all xenophobic and all that nonsense on me. His outburst was disproportionate, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I don't believe I said this was a murder investigation. Well, what else would it be? Well, now it's a health inspection. 
Let me take a look at your abattoir. We'd like to take a look inside your abattoir, if you don't mind. Abattoir. Abattoir. Whatever. Abattoir. We're investigating a serious crime, Mr. Quang. We gotta get Niskel in here so we can start reading all these French French words. Violate health regulations. We won't tell the inspector. Honest. The answer is no. Not without a warrant. Okie duck. Enter the abattoir anyway. Mm. Mm. Can't do that though. Yes. No, that's that's gonna that's gonna eat us later because if we don't get a warrant, everything that we get in there, every piece of evidence that we get in there, will be thrown out because it was obtained without a warrant. They do it all the time, so no way. Yeah! I've seen this show more than once or twice. Yeah, unless you get a warrant first, any evidence you find there will be inadmissible in court. Boom! I am so psyched for Ace Attorney 6! Sorry, I got excited I got one. You, one sir, moment, need to calm. I slam dunked down. that one, man! Check out the Rolex. Oh. Check out the Rolex. Check out the sleeve. Sorry for the interruption. One of my butchers has a problem at home. <laughs> no, look at it. You're covered in blood, aren't you? Where you got that watch? Well, yeah. Uh, this? It's just a knockoff. I got it from a guy on Fifth Avenue. So what you do uh, is you get a Q-tip and just swab. Now look here. Thank you, sir. You got DNA questions. evidence right I'm up your sleeve. I'm an American citizen and I got my rights. Sounds like a no. I don't care if you're American or Chinese. Let me see your fucking Rolex. You could say it's obstructing justice because this could interfere with a mur with a murder investigation. And uh, yeah, oh well, that's the DA's job, and the DA isn't here. Speaking of the DA, this guy's hiding something. And you're basing that on. He was He's mean and suspicious. His wife told us he was missing a Rolex, one he never took off. So wearing a Rolex is now illegal. He refused to let well, us yeah, check out the back Well, yeah, they're really tacky, and it makes you a target Jensen to steal. I mean, line case line in point. That room's the best spot of the neighborhood to find dead birds. There's something back there he doesn't want us to see. Spare me. As it stands right now, there isn't enough evidence to suggest probable cause. Right. You I'll right. give you probable cause! There's something worse than slaughter going on in that room, or you don't get a warrant. And no arrest unless you've got something physical to tie this guy to the victim. Poop! Oh, man. Nina Havisham, 32... In Carmen San Diego, you could arrest him if you wanted to, Wait just to ooze Nina some stress Havisham. out. She was one of the suspects in the preppy jogger case. So? Van Buren took us off that one. Yeah, but remember that little speech Van in Buren in did it. All detectives are encouraged to ask about crimes they're not currently investigating. It's all about uh, spreading the widest possible net. Well, the case may be closed for now, but the net's still open. Hey, well, sure. have a fishing partner. Hey, you know that meat market sells cow skulls? Now, what? I know that definitely isn't on your diet. Look what it says in the logs. Three weeks ago, Tuesday, we got a late night complaint. Yeah, about yeah, noise yeah. Coming but from the uh, I ever tell you about oh, the yeah. time I had. Oh, wait. 8:45 a.m. Then two weeks ago, also on Tuesday, the same noise complaint. Mm. Let me guess. Same thing happened last Tuesday. About 15 minutes before Neil Jensen was wounded. What do you think? I think we've got our warrant. Warrant. Yeah. We're Noises in the that back. Place. All as if right, it went in there. At least let me watch. No, it's legal. I'm sorry, oh, it's bitch. against policy. Okay, well, we found our bird blood. I'm still not sure what else we're looking for. Anything that'll tell us what was going on after hours Tuesday night. And whether Neil Jensen was All in. right. What's with the fucking <clears throat> smear on the floor? That's probably nothing. All right, circle out ups to circle like and grab them. Click on the arrows to navigate around the sea. All righty. So, we got 14 bits of evidence. Got a lot to do here. We got a bloody blanket. A possible murder weapon. So we're playing I Spy. A po a po three possible murder <laughs> weapons. Evidence of game gambling debts. So a source of avian <laughs> blued. And a curved blade. Okay. Let's just sweep it from left to right. Starting here. Starting here. Starting, Starting here. 
Okay. Just, oh, wait. Oh, oh. That's right, I got a circle on. Oh. Let's look at this. Whatever. You just did. You already looked at it. I guess that's evidence of gambling, that's. Maybe I can. There we go. Now we're cooking. What's that? A ledger. And I got a feeling these ain't sales of ground round in here. They look like bets. <whistles> Looks like NJ owes a bundle to EH. EH. Edward Wang. Oh! Hello, crucial piece of evidence. It's going to slam dunk the case into the fucking. He owed him money and he killed him! He did. I guess that was nothing. Let's see here. What the f... What is that? That's a hell of a lot of blood. Could have come from a pig or something, I guess, but why would you wrap a pig in a blanket? I mean a real pig in a real blanket. <laughs> Do you need a pat on the back? Ugh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I found a butcher knife. You think this could be our murder weapon? I don't think so. It might be. You never know. Let's see. Let's get this out of the way. What? No, nope, it's just all just from where he's taking the trash in and out. That's all that is. Well, what's in the trash can? Nothing. Fuck. There's that. What about this, though? We saw this in the opening this thumbnail. Could the guy in. Sure, but not our guy. Well, it could be any one of these, but hey, how about the, how about the one that's bloody? Well, Aaron said it was a short, curved blade. There we oh, go. Oh, look at that. What are these two question marks? What do we got left? A source of avian blood and a curved blade. Okay. So we got three of those. Short, curved blade. That could be avian blood right here. That's not the source, though. But what's over here? Nothing, that's just dirt. Damn it. You already did that. Hmm. What's this? Damn it. You're not thinking, you just gotta think. I also got to make sure I'm circling the right thing. Hmm. Circle that blood. This blood? Yes. All right. You have no more. Shit. There we go. Oh, I'm losing stuff now. Wait a minute. Here we go. A short curved blade. It's a hook. Hey, look at this. Look at that. A short curved blade. Look at that shit there. What do you want to bet it's a match for the murder weapon? Wonder what it is. It doesn't seem like anything a butcher would use. Still gotta find the source of the blood, though. Blood be. Tried looking in there already, didn't I? Where did that come from? What's in here? Damn it. Uh, How about the buckets or. Man, come on. Where would the source of the blood be? I don't. In the bird cages, maybe. Nope. But what the hell is that on the wall? 
looks like cats. I don't know. It's like I can only look at certain parts of the room. I, oh, damn. I can't tell. What do they want me to find? What the... Just keep, is there like a hanging bird in there somewhere? I don't see one. Keep looking, man. Do you know where it is? No. Try circling all those fucking buckets. Like, see? Did you circle that one? Circle that bucket. Don't these tracks look suspicious at all? No! It looks like he just drags out his garbage right there. So what does he use to drag out then, huh? Let me I would look in his trash. Didn't we already look in his trash? No. But I already circled everything around the damn trash can and it just wasn't there. Oh, here we go. You want to search oh the garbage? I just didn't Nothing circle like it right. Digging through a mound of chicken heads and feathers. Bah! Bah! Huh? What'd you find? It's the carcass of a whole rooster. It's a big one too. Why do you suppose they just throw it away? Maybe it died of diphtheria. Oh nah, God! That's, all that's probably out. the rooster oh, that yeah. Neil had, and now he Wait, came in here and it's like, no, I won't let you kill him. We have something special. I know what this is. It's a gaff. They attach these to the claws of. Hey, Mr. Huang. For cockfights. <laughs> you've got some experience. Illegal cockfights. And anyway, yeah. I got a lot of customers right now. We can talk out there if you'd rather. I'm sure they'll be interested to hear about how you're running a cockfighting ring. Wow, we've got two foreign people in this game already, and they've turned out to be evil motherfuckers. What do you think? The Russian dude, and now this guy is running cockfights underneath his family restaurant. Ugh. Sick bastard. Detectives hold everything. Sure, it all hangs together. Jensen owed a gambling debt to Mr. Huang here, and when Jensen can't pay up, Huang starts eyeing his Rolex. Open and shut. Open and shut. Neil, You're gonna go to jail, jail for a long Ellen, time. You gotta believe me. I didn't kill him. Then who uh -huh. did? I don't believe and your ass are dead. I think. Where can we find him? He doesn't have oh. a fixed address. Moves around. Is there a the couch couch. higher up boss? Take this guy. You're gonna guy blame here. a homeless dude. Wait. I got his cell number. What luck. I'm glad you know how to follow instructions, Mr. Fang, because we've got a little job for you. It's uh -huh. called... You're gonna- Jesus! <laughs> we have a little thing for you. It's called, we're gonna take you downtown anyway, and we're gonna interrogate the shit out of you. 